Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here, and the waitress is getting married! When it comes to summer movies, you normally think about, you know, the chase scenes, the slasher stuff, the big special effects, etc., etc. And sometimes in the summer, you'll get one of those movies that normally gets the Oscar buzz, or the, oh my god, this movie was incredible. And when it comes to those movies, sometimes you get that one specific movie that people say, this is a movie that you desperately need to see. This summer, we got one of the third kind of those movies. And I'm talking, of course, of DreamWorks Pictures The Help, based on the novel by Katherine Stockett, directed by Tate Taylor. Now, I just want to let you guys know, I was basically begged to read this book. And it seemed like a very interesting book to me, considering the fact that I'm really big on period pieces, especially the kind of story that this one is all about. Mind you, there will be a couple of spoilers, so if you just want to see the verdict, turn the video off now. Okay? So... I saw the trailer for this movie when I wanted to see another one of those summer movies this year, and when I saw exactly how these actors were portraying these characters that people just ranted and raved about in the book, I just said, okay, mom, you win, I'm gonna read this book, and I loved it. So, of course, I was very excited to see this movie, and I was very curious to see how it would be compared to the book. Uh, this was just... It's so hard to describe in words. It was a wonderful, uplifting, motivating movie. I mean, let's talk about why it works so well. Of course, we got to talk about the story itself. It's a great story that takes place during the time of the Jim Crow laws in the Deep South in the early 1960s. And of course, this was the time when a lot of the black women in the communities of Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, most of them were doing what was called being the help, which was being the maid to the children of the very rich and wealthy white folks. I think I said witch and wealthy. No, no big deal. We'll leave that in. That's funny. And anyway... It's basically about this one girl who has already broken the mold of the white women in Mississippi, which is, you know, get out of college early because you got married and start pumping out babies. She decided to actually finish college, get herself a job in journalism, but then she was really interested about becoming an author, and she wanted to do something different, something revolutionary, pretty much what the 60s was all about, you know, creating a difference. And she felt that it would be a great thing to show the hard times and oppression of the help in the South actually by stories told by the help themselves. So the book is actually written from three perspectives. The perspective of Skeeter, played beautifully by Emma Stone, and of course, the two actresses that deserve all the credit in the world are Viola Davis and Octavia Spencer. Octavia Spencer played Minnie, the hotshot, wisecracking helpmaid, and Viola Davis, who played an older, more somber woman because of a couple of things that happened in her past. These two actresses were absolutely incredible, and they were definitely the high point of this movie. Now, keep in mind, we also had the bitch on wheels of Hilly Holbrook, played brilliantly by Bryce Dallas Howard. Words cannot describe how incredible her acting was in this movie, and I just loved her role. I loved all the characters in this movie. I truly did. And it's a book where these three women are telling the story, minus Hilly Holbrook, and it's very hard to translate that into film, so it was a little bit out of sync and not entirely page for page from the book, but they got all the main parts of the story in, and the transition from literary to cinematic was absolutely brilliant. Uh, the score that's done by Thomas Newman, he did a great job in bringing, you know, that 60s vibe. It sounded a little bit like the Forrest Gump soundtrack that was done by Alan Silvestri back in 94. And also, it also had some great 1960s pop songs, like I Heard the Twist by Chubby Checker, and uh, a song that escapes me, but I know it was from the Four Seasons. And what can I say that's really bad about this movie? Really nothing, because... It was such a uplifting, motivating movie. There were parts in these movies where in the, there were parts in this movie when the crowd was just going ah or crying or cheering or clapping or laughing like you don't get so many movies like that where the crowd really gets into it 
And nobody cares that everybody's doing that because you're just going along with it and you love it just as much as they do. The only thing that I can say that's bad about this movie is the fact that it came out during the summer because there's a lot of buzz about certain movies that are coming out this Christmas, like The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and that Steven Spielberg movie War Horse about the World War I horse. I have a strange feeling that that movie is going to be this year's King's Speech and it's just going to steal all the thunder that this movie has, but I really hope that it doesn't. So... I really have nothing much to say about this movie except it doesn't matter what kind of movies you like. Get your ass up out of your chair and just see this movie. See it in theaters. It's not theater caliber, but see it anyway just for the ambiance and the atmosphere that you're going to get when you sit in the theater and watch this masterpiece. My verdict on The Help is 4 out of 4. It's the best movie that I've seen this summer. It's the best movie that I've seen all year. It was better than Bridesmaids. It was better than Super 8. It's just one of the best movies that I have seen throughout my entire life of watching movies. It's timeless. It's one of those movies that will end up being with Gone with the Wind, Ben-Hur, Casablanca, Some Like It Hot, Godfather, Forrest Gump, The Shawshank Redemption, and the list goes on and on and on. See this movie. It's important. Comment, like, and subscribe, guys. The question that I want to leave with you today is, we got another major movie coming out based around a very famous novel, and that, of course, is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. You guys looking forward to it? I'm the Lawn Gnome, and remember, actions speak louder than words.